Good morning. Good morning. Where are we're we? In, I actually don't know where we are. I get really confused. We're in Switzerland. <laughs> we're in France. Good morning. We're in. We're, we're in France. France. But we did land in Switzerland. That was what drive, I was saying. I was drive so across. confused. We had, but I swear it wasn't four hours to drive. No, it was two hours forty. Literally, yeah. when I got into the car, so I googled weird. it and I was like, Why "Of course, I've got that wrong." Four hours. It said four hours. It honestly said four hours because you know I booked us ten a.m. to leave, so like we booked too yeah. early to come home. But at least we won't nearly yeah. miss the plane like we did on the way but, here. Um, yeah. I do have bad news, guys. As I'm starting this vlog, I started it early this morning, and I did in fact leave my camera on the plane, mm. which I'm gutted about. A plane that we very nearly did miss. Um, yeah. I don't know what happened to this morning. We were literally up at half three. We didn't then end up leaving mine until like, 20 past four. Yeah. Then we went on the tube till 20 to five. And I don't know why we got the tube never again. Like no. it's a lot going, easier to go from my house is go, what we yeah. learned from this morning. Going from east to west, London, just never do it. Like it just, it just takes so much longer. Like we still have gone for Brighton because like you have all the motorways. You can mm -hmm. get there quicker. But um, either I, way, we made it. I'm annoyed that it's you fine. don't have that footage because we were like two little, t it was just funny. It was just funny. But anyways, we're here. Yeah, we literally nearly missed our flight, but we are. Uh, of course, Safi has surprised us with this good trip, <laughs> me and Jen, and we're very, very grateful. We are in. How unbelievable is this hotel? It looks like my house, I've doesn't it? Huh? Yeah, this is like unbelievable yeah so basically context guys jed's just come from a ski trip with his mates um he's literally just got back and i have just got back i've come straight from one ski resort to this one yeah pretty how much how long was your a week. trip a week a week so no, i'm no, no, basically no. doing two in, like, weeks yeah skiing which is a um, lot how long are you taking the car two and a half hours, two and a half hours. oh so it took you the same amount of time two hours, two hours. oh my goodness i love this hotel so much also guys right so we're gonna go down in a second and go get food and stuff i will give you a tour it's lunchtime we're absolutely starving but this hotel honestly it's the nicest like ski hotel i've ever stayed in um you can I've done that before in Sweden and it was unbelievable. It was so good. Um, but anyway, so I'm getting so sidetracked. Anyway, so, oh my god, I look really pale as well. I really need to tan my face. But... Anyways, what I was saying is, this hotel has its own cinema, it has a bowling alley, it has, what else does it have? It has a massive spa, fitness center, you can like hire the skis and stuff inside the hotel, it has shops, it has like multiple restaurants, honestly, it's so nice, it's actually crazy like we're gonna be living luxury for the next six days and i cannot wait and jed is very excited because as he just said he well he literally has just left a hostel but well it's not actually a hostel oh is it not he, oh no 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 I've been I'm gonna in go. you've just done now. yeah you've just done hostels in australia and i swear they were a lot nicer than what you just stayed in the hostels in australia were better but then again you get used to the place and we quite enjoyed it yeah but our bath was this big and like it doesn't really matter at the end of the day but i feel like having somewhere nice to go back to after skiing when you're really cold is is just so nice like obviously we completely understand we are living luxury for the next five days which is why i think this is actually going to be the dreamiest trip ever i will give you a room tour although we literally have stuff everywhere should we go get the skis first and then we'll like unpack and stuff and then yeah, sort everything yeah. out and we can show everyone our really cute outfits because that's really <laughs> yeah, we're trying to send Imogen off to ski school. Yeah, so. <laughs> we still trying to get rid of me because obviously, like, I've been on one ski trip which lasted two days and I didn't particularly do really well. Like, I was literally crying and Deb was pulling me down the slopes, like, trying to get me back to the bottom. Jed is an Olympic skier. Um, like, honestly, yeah. and he I think, is like, ridiculous. Anyone who's below Jed's level, he's like, oh, God, like, do do I? so annoying. No, I love teaching people. You hate no. me when I ski. No, I hate Actually, it when you cry on the slopes. Yes. I love teaching people. Yeah, anyways. What are you crying on the slope for? That's not good enough in the bathroom. Well, because I just couldn't do it. We're all about winners, Imogen. But either way, winners. Well, obviously, I told these lot this experience, and now they're trying to ship me off to bloody. No, ski it's school. not that. If you can ski, you will understand that. And when you're you're not here, going to me with either. somebody. Yeah, this is the problem. Like going with somebody that can't ski. Well, like we would, me and Jeb would never ski then. So we're not trying to get rid of you. We really want to teach you, but we just think some mornings you should go to ski school. It's only the because you want to learn as well. Like you want to learn. We're literally here for five and days. And then evening, we'll try and take you on a, maybe a little harder route than you were like, doing maybe in your like lessons. A red. No, not. A red on the first day, Saf. She'll be on blues and greens. She might not be. She'll not Some be. reds are like blues, Jed. It's all in the head. Not what we were. I don't feel like it's I'm all in my parents. <laughs> 
Like, I'm actually doing shit to the sea. It's peaceful. Here you do, bitch, about me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm so excited to be back vlogging, even though I've just lost my vlog camera. So after this vlog, you're not going to have a vlog for a while, because I don't know where I'm going to be, because I'm not going to have a vlog camera. But I'm so happy to be back vlogging. I feel like it's been ages, and I'm so excited to vlog this trip. Yeah, like I said, I'm here for the next five days. And also, got a GoPro so we can actually film when we're going skiing. It's going to be so good. Anyways, feeling super grateful. A great way to start You're the year. You're feeling super grateful. We're feeling super grateful. Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at the ski shop in our hotel. Literally, these are mine and Imogen's dream racks. Like look at the gold helmet. No, I'm buying the helmet. No, oh my God, I really want the helmet. <laughs> I don't think you understand how much I want the helmet. And look at the, oh my God, I want it all. I actually might get the helmet. It's just, it's out of control. I know, it's bad, it's bad. But the thing is, I just said to Imogen, I, I know I have my own helmet with me. I just said to Imogen, I was like, when you can ski, oh my God, we're gonna come here all the time. I'm just getting ripped into. There's no, no it's fine. I love it's it. the hope that we know that you're gonna be so amazing that you're gonna wanna come every time. <laughs> yeah, you are gonna be great. You are gonna be really great. I have no doubt, okay? You have so much doubt. No, I don't. Oh my goodness, look at the miniature moon boots. Have you ever seen anything so cute in your life? Oh my goodness. Imogen's just getting her first ever ski boots. <laughs> Jed is like literally her dad. Look how cute he is. Setting her up. Look at that. I have my own ski boots, so I just need to get some skis and some poles and then I'm ready to go. What are you two doing? <laughs> Come on, Emmy. I'm gonna film you this time. Lean forward, remember. Lead with your arm. That's, that's it. That's really good. Go round me now. Make a big turn. Make a big turn. That's it. And lean with your shoulder. <laughs> feel like I have a huge update. I have just spent the last few hours in hospital and I've actually had quite a few tears, but I'm doing a lot better. God, I don't even wanna cry because I'm super grateful that I've not broke a bone. I'm sure a lot of you will know everything that's happened anyways from my Instagram and TikTok and just social media, but was out on the soaps for like 45 minutes, didn't even get to vlog anything. And next thing you know, I'm in an air ambulance and I'm getting skied down the mountain in a bag and getting rushed to hospital. So to give you some context, I was so, so excited for this trip. Like skiing is my favorite thing in the world i've been skiing so many times like we're probably on double digits now how many times i've been skiing which i'm so 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 grateful for but i would like to you know consider myself quite a good skier i've definitely gone enough times and i don't really have fear and stuff when it comes down the slope and i was just so excited just to get on the slope and so we threw ourselves into it literally had like 45 minutes until all the lifts were turned off and so on the last we were it we were out for like 45 minutes and then we were like let's go get like one big ski lift up to the top because all of them are going to shut and then we can have like a long ski down so anyways i was kind of like in charge of teaching imogen with her being a beginner and i was like you know teaching imogen technique and teaching her how to do things and jed was like with us but like on his snowboard so he was like off and on blah blah, blah. anyways imogen was doing amazing um ended up throwing her down a red slope and she honestly smashed it like i actually can't even believe how well she did it was honestly incredible so she was doing really well and jed was waiting with her so i was like do you know what i'm just like gonna zoom down the mountain because Jed's now with her and she's done really well. We were like, we were like a good three quarters of the way down the mountain and Jed was with her at this point and they were both sitting down and having a break. So I was like, I'm just gonna go really fast down the hill. And I was like, Jed, can you watch me? Because Jed is an incredible skier. Like I like to consider myself a good skier, but Jed is like an incredible skier. Like it's actually nuts. He would just, the way he will go down the Olympic runs is unbelievable. So I was like, can you watch me? Like there's always room for improvement, blah, blah. And he's watching me and I'm flying down completely fine all of a sudden i'm not joking my entire knee dislocates and comes out of place to the point where i hadn't fallen over i'm still whizzing down this mountain but my knee won't move and i couldn't like i couldn't turn i like let alone parallel turn i couldn't even snow plow because i literally couldn't 
move my knee so anyways my knee had come out of place and slowly they were watching me like what the hell is she doing it was like I was squatting because my knee was like turned in like this and I was trying to slow myself down with this leg and I'm just like squatting 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 and I fall anyways long story short I couldn't move my leg I am literally screaming like screaming and screaming the pain was unbearable and long story short this happened <laughs> Yeah. Oh. 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 So just give us a wave. I went to the hospital and they did an x-ray. Luckily I haven't got any broken bones, although they do think that I have torn my ACL. But also I won't actually know until I get home and I have an MRI scan, which is so frustrating. And I'm just so upset because, well, first of all, recovery is nine months. But second of all, this is literally my favorite holiday in the entire world. And this was like, you know such a good start to the new year i just thought that like me jed and imogen were gonna create the most amazing memories to say i'm heartbroken is like an understatement i feel like i've cried enough yeah i mean i'm trying to stay positive like there's so many worse things in the world that could happen 100 percent. i think it's just even more frustrating because it didn't even happen from like a bad fall i mean good thing is it hasn't put me off skiing whatsoever and i don't know if it's to do with 75 hard because i was obviously doing that and i was working out twice a day and i don't know if i've just pushed my body too much and it's just gone no thanks but yeah that's 75 hard out the window now I can't do that and I was like solid two weeks into it I felt incredible probably the most dedicated I've ever been to anything fitness wise I know like the marathon but this I don't know this felt different this felt harder than training for a marathon because it took so much discipline to stick to the water to stick to the diet to stick to the workouts like I was walking at 10 p.m if I had to 11 p.m if I had to and so yeah I'm gutted about that and also if it's my ACL I literally I can't work out in nine months which is God, literally the saddest thing ever. But yeah, obviously I'm really sad about skiing as well. So it's just gutting. I literally can't believe it. And this is not how I thought this vlog was gonna go. And I don't know how much skiing footage you're gonna see. Luckily we are in an amazing hotel. And thank God I booked a hotel that had a spa and stuff in it so I can go and, you know, chill in the spa and do stuff like that. And I'm just gonna have to keep myself entertained. And Imogen and I are working on something so exciting. So I feel like this week I'm just gonna dedicate putting my heart and soul and all my time into that. So yeah. But I'm gutted. I'm so gutted. Like, I literally can't believe it. It's so frustrating. I know I literally live such a lucky life and I'm so blessed, but I just feel like the last year, my family's health is so bad. Like, everyone is injured. I mean, I don't want to sit here and complain because I feel like people have had it so, many, so much worse, but my dad's just got the cancer removed out of his head and now he thinks it's infected. My mum also thinks she's done her ACL, which is crazy. Like my mum can't walk, but then she can walk and then she can't walk. And so they think that she's done her ACL. Jed's like spitting up blood. Casey had his heart attack. I'm like, Jesus Christ, none of us can actually catch a break. But at the same time, I know that, you know, we're still, we're still lucky, we're still here. So many worse things could have happened to me. And so I just need to look at the positive, but it's just really hard when so much is going on. Literally all within the space of a year i really thought like 2024 was gonna have a different start but i guess it's what we make it so yeah i'm gonna try and make the most of it probably not gonna vlog tonight but i will see you guys tomorrow I this is how our evening is now looking not quite how we planned but here we are here they are Holy. hi guys Hello. <laughs> are you having a good time this is so sick. it's so cool me and Jen have just been playing odds on the whole time to see who would run and click sit this night. Okay. <laughs> okay. See if there's anything on Update. top of it. Update! Imogen, stand up and have a look at the thing. If there's any buttons. Jed keeps brought. making snowballs and he thinks it's funny. No, he can't wait for someone to ski down because he wants okay. to throw a snowball at them. <gasps> Jed, oh! Oh my god, it's so cold. It's so cold. But this is, this is the life. I'm a proper third wheel, but this is, <laughs> this is the life. It's so nice and warm in here. It is so nice and warm. Okay, so we've got the cutest night planned ever. So now we've spent some time in the spa, which was amazing, by the way. Imogen and I was in there for so long. Nice. And the thing is, though, it's like hot tubs outside are like a whole nother level just because they like, aren't they? It's so fresh. They're in the warmth. <laughs> and this evening we're going down to the cinema oh lovely jed's got a wrap that he's gonna be very excited about so imogen and jed just went out and bought all the snacks that we're taking into the cinema jed can you give us a quick little haul please um yes. right because well, i don't really know what you got, got Tyrrell's, best brand ever okay yes. sponsor us <laughs> i think some unbranded barbecue crisps as well oh uh, did you get those 
those for me. I, I know. Oh, I he got them. Oh. I was like, oh, you know, to be fair, Saf, like, it's only eats meat over Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. These are sweets I got because these are my favourite sweets ever. You know, the, um, what's it called? The blueberry. The bubblegum. The, the yeah, bubble yeah, bubble yeah, the bottles. Yeah. What you all the strawberry ones. They are my literal favourite sweets of all time. They, they're just different level, got absolutely these. different level. No, Mao Ams, no, lovely. Different. Did you not get any chocolate? You just got sweets? Steak baked for you. No, they're mine, they're my oh, sausage well, I was about to say, I don't know about steak um, bake. Oh, sausage roll though, I do like a sausage roll. <gasps> yeah, got the good one. Oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. I came back the other morning. Well, I didn't I, I, have them in stock, so I just got the plain ones. Yeah, you saw the plain ones. What do you do with the plain ones? Nothing, yeah, we, don't the plain ones. Nothing. Yeah, we don't want the plain ones. No. Just one, one before. <laughs> <laughs> and Debrie wanted some apple juice, so we picked up some apple juice. Nice, very nice, but you can't believe you didn't get any chocolate, I just thought because we've got the kind of chocolate hair. They're all gone. <laughs> we eat them all. We ate them all. Look. <laughs> Look at Jade walking away. <laughs> I know. I went to go have one. I was like, oh, okay. They're all gone. No, no, but it's fine. There's loads there. And to be honest, they're all that I want. Yeah. Like, they make my heart so happy. Very, very excited. There was chocolate in there, like Swiss chocolate. It was like 17, 14 pounds. We were like, really? Wow. <laughs> just ignore. You have to just learn <laughs> to ignore him. Big, like 14 quid. We were like, all right. <laughs> Okay. It's because Swiss chocolate is the best chocolate. Okay. No, I don't think it is. Cadbury's yeah. beat Swiss. 100%. Right, we've come down to the bowling alley. Imogen just got a strike on her first go. We are very impressed. Anything like mini golf or bowling? Crap. So I'm taking it. Wait, yeah. she's saying she's bad even though she just got a strike? No. I'd never get strikes. Never okay, get strikes. right, let's do it again then. Can you actually believe this is in our hotel, by the way? I actually think this is nuts. Right, come on in. Oh, yeah, it might have been, it might have been a fluke. <laughs> it might have been a bit of a fluke. Jed just put the bowling shoes on and then slipped, so he's taking them off already. No, you shut up. Stop trying to make it about you when I'm actually injured, all right? Fun. We went to the cinema and Get we watched. Oh my head. god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Imogen has this thing against my feet. No, it's actually Jed. It's so weird. Don't you have a thing against her feet, don't you? Even though my feet are pretty. <laughs> No, Anyways, many, many snaps. Yeah, it is you. It yeah. is you. That has, and is it's only because you're no. jealous that you have ingrown toenails. No, it's someone bullies me about my big toe. <laughs> if you want to go there. <laughs> Anyways, look, all the snacks later. I just finished watching the movie. And guys, this is so funny because this is the size of our TV upstairs. Maybe a little bit bigger, but then it had the black line, so we may as well just watch TV in bed. No, we but, yeah. you know, it was still fun. And what did we watch? Uh, we watched Crazy Stupid Love. I didn't realise that her name was Joey King. Yeah. I didn't realise that was the actress's name. I was trying to think, I was like, what films did she do when she was older? Because I saw her in so many films when she was younger. Yeah. Like, oh, what films was she? Kissing Move. Mm. <laughs> Update everybody, in bed. Snug as a bug. So last night I did actually sit, I did actually sleep in the little single bed, but Jed's um, going to stay in there tonight because Jed's obsessed with watching suits and he needs to watch suits before he goes to bed. Also. Look what you're breaking up right now, sir. <laughs> Don't give me up. that. I've literally said a thousand times I'll sleep in there, but. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you you're you're so the much. worst! You, I've never, what? you're actually worse than Lewis. Oh my God, you're so oh bad. God. I'm gonna retitle your name Poopy Pants. You're Jed and you're on my bad leg. Jed, you're on my bad leg. Can you get up, please? She just pushed her on your bad leg. Beat her up for that. I'll beat her up for you. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, this is when he gets his energy. Can he go away? Oh my god. Oh, right. Me. Night, guys. Say goodnight. Kiss her better. <laughs> say goodnight. Night. Let's <laughs> say goodnight. Get Bye. in your room. Go. Bye. Go. Yeah. See ya. The windows are finished, though. <laughs> <laughs> Get in bed. Oh. In bed. I love a small room. <laughs> Update 
everybody. We have got dressed, changed for the day. Um, obviously, Jed and Imogen are back from skiing now. And not gonna lie, we've had a lot of, well, I've had a lot of downtime today. However, I have actually had quite a productive day. I feel like I've actually got a lot done. And then I actually ended up, this guy ended up keeping me company for the longest time. He was also sat in the lobby. He had such an interesting life, honestly. And yeah, it was just really nice to sit and talk to him. So I was just sat basically speaking to him for hours. And before I knew it, Jed and Imogen were back. So I've actually had a really, really nice day believe it or not with all things happening i mean not that i could have been skiing like they were i'm very very jealous yeah believe it or not i was actually like quite a nice day so we're going out for dinner now we're actually going to a steakhouse this is just a place that jed walked past the other day and said it looked really good but when we googled it it had five stars i think it's more like a fari sort of like steakhouse but honestly i'm craving a fillet steak so much like there's nothing more in the world that i want right now by the way i can't actually believe i'm like even showing you this online because i hate it so much look at this piece of hair the thing is it's more noticeable because it's growing so this piece of hair used to be like this small from where i snapped all my hair off and now it's growing but it's even more noticeable and i hate it and now i've made all of you aware of it which i don't know why i've done that because i hate it that much but fingers crossed it grows a bit more like if we got to there it wouldn't even be that bad but just oh it's that like, like proper awkward length are you ready captain so I said oh. 400 times you still haven't left Ned, are you thinking you need oh, to pipe down? She told me to get ready an hour ago and I was already ready and I'm still waiting. And look how miserable he is. Because I'm waiting an hour to leave. You whitened my teeth. No. Oh, slave me then. Slay for you. <laughs> okay, we have just got to the restaurant. Um, I'm so excited for a fillet steak. And also they have peppercorn, which is my favorite, but it's brandy peppercorn. So I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to love that or not. And they don't have any broccoli besides, but I tell you what they do have is Oh my god, wait, no, they don't. I thought they had mac and cheese as a side. No. Oh, they do eat mac and cheese as a side. And they also do mac and cheese egg bites. Egg bites? Cheese bites, which is what I think it's going to have. And also, this restaurant is so cute. And we literally have the restaurant to ourselves. But to be fair, we have come out like so early. Right, these yeah. are the mac and cheese bites. Delicious. Go on then, Jake, give us a taste test. No, it's fine, you have it. No, no, it's fine, you have it. You have it. <laughs> I don't know, what is the sauce? I think it's spicy tomato. Yeah. Ooh. Is it? Oh, I don't know if I'd like that because it's spicy, but I love tomato as we all know. Oh god, I've got quite a lot. Let's hope it's not too spicy. Oh my god. It's so hot, but do you know what it's giving? It's just giving um, McDonald's cheese bite. It's actually delicious. You know oh my god, that's so good. McDonald's are bringing it back for breakfast. Like, are they? I just don't know why. I don't know why breakfast on McDonald's isn't 24 hour. They do that in America. In America, it's 24 hours breakfast. Yeah, I used to go to gymnastics every Saturday morning, and me and my dad would she drive like hours to go. But the one thing I look forward to is my breakfast. <laughs> Steak is here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. And these chips look like my perfect kind of chips. Oh, have I? Just asked for another coke and didn't realize I still have some left. We literally all just got steaks. Um, Jed's steak looks actually phenomenal though. It looks like a bigger version of ours, basically. Thank you. Delicious. Yay. Oh my goodness. What is it? Brownie. Brownie. You both look the same. Oh my god, that looks so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, I don't have a cannon for this reason. I feel like it never focuses and it drives me absolutely nuts. Yes. This is why I don't have this camera anymore. Well, I don't have it any. I don't actually. I do have this camera because I lost mine and left it on the plane. But this is the current situation. We've just played chess. Jed's absolutely thrashed both of us. I used to actually be quite good at chess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need a little bit more practice. When I was obsessed with Queen's Gambit, which I do think is one of the best series, I actually became like, not like Jed good, because Jed is actually amazing, but I actually became like half decent at it. Jed always used to go to me. I think when they were in Turkey or we were like somewhere like, where were we? And they would like play out in the street. I was about to say, Jed, you should do that. They do it in New York. Yeah, we were in Shoreditch. Not even Turkey, we were in Shoreditch. And they were literally like, I think that was like three in the light and they were doing like the stop start like clock and everything. And Jed was like, you were so, you so wanted to sit down. I don't know why you wouldn't. You should do that. Cause I think no, you'd I mean, be so good. Clock. Yeah, but you just, well, you did it against me. <laughs> like, boom, boom. Yeah. Well, in New York, when we go down the streets, you remember they had them everywhere, tables of chessboards for people to just go and join in. I know, yeah. they're all good. Like, they actually rank themselves. Yeah, but still, it's yeah. still fun for you to do it. Um, anyways, we're now playing Connect Four, which is a little bit easier for me and Imogen, um, so we love that. I don't what? think it is. Why? Oh. 
<laughs> okay, I haven't played Connect 4 in years, to be Maybe. fair. Also, we just got a hot chocolate, and I swear to God, I think it actually is. I've said this five times. Yeah, I think to be fair, the best hot like chocolate it. I've ever had. You know it I mean? tasted like, um... It was, like, very, like, hot Yeah, but it wasn't, like, just milk. It, yeah, it tasted like, yeah. when I go to, like, different countries, like, all-inclusive, their milk tastes really almondy. Almondy? Yeah. Like, that tastes like almond to milk. Fair, I think it's the difference between, like, because I always have semi-skim milk. Mm. I think, obviously, that's full fat milk. Yeah, maybe. I have, I oh, it was. It tasted like pecan. I can't explain it, but it was delicious. Nutty cows. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I knew oh it. No, no way. No, no, no. They were together nah, for so many years. In. Oh my she god. So fucking good. And he's like, oh my no, god. He's like, in oh love my god. Again. He's in love all over again. Yeah, he is. They oh, were together years. <laughs> I actually can't believe it. That this is this series is now gonna be good. Oh my god. I cannot believe. Good morning, everyone. Just used the spa this morning, probably only for like half an hour, but it was so nice. And now Imogen and I have come down for breakfast. So the buffet is insane. Imogen hasn't even got up as in the buffet because basically I ordered us breakfast while she was getting changed and showered. She's actually got her ski stuff on underneath the jumper. But this omelet, I swear to God, doesn't even look like anything special. I think that is one of the nicest omelets I've had. It is really good. But I am the aware that the other well. day, yeah, it's the cheese. There's so much cheese in it, isn't there? I am aware that I said something else was the best thing I've ever had in my life the other day in this vlog so <laughs> I don't know how many things I can keep saying it to but it was delicious and also they've got like fresh orange juice up there like you go and put the oranges in yourself it's so cute they have waffles Nutella honestly one of the best breakfast buffets I've been to also look at this morning view wow I actually can't believe you're skiing in that today like this is the most perfect perfect ski weather I'm so excited because like obviously yesterday sorry I'm using the apple. yesterday being like the first like ski lesson and it was so snowy, like it was hurting on my face coming down. So like now that like I feel like I can ski better and then the weather's like this, it's just like I'm actually so excited. Yeah. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'm so sorry. I don't know, so I was just speaking to some woman and she's like, you've definitely torn your ACL, but I've torn mine twice, blah, blah, blah. But she was like, so if you come to Fully Do, she was like, well, I probably wouldn't recommend skiing. But she, but she was kind of like, but you, you could, but maybe it's a bit too early. And I was thinking, oh my God, don't say that. Because on the last day, I'm so going to try skiing and hurt myself. She did say that though. She actually did say that. She said like, you can do like little things. Yeah, like if we take a body back out with us, oh my God, no, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Like, we a bag to like drag you around, do you know what I mean? So I don't do think I yourself. want to be dragged. <laughs> We're not paying for another 650 euro ambulance trip. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we just don't risk it. Maybe I just enjoy the spa. Yeah, it's really nice because you know how the guy was saying like there's loads of green slopes around here which you don't pay for. Mm. The, that's one here. There's another one up there. And yeah. There's an actual chair lift up to it. I'll just have to see. Why not? Like, nice I think I'm actually too nervous. I feel like it would just pop out. I thought it didn't put you off. <laughs> No, but I mean, with my knee still like this. No, I know. Like, I'm not nervous. If my knee was better, okay, I'd 100%. Maybe we'll get the IP access when we go to the airport and we can wheel you through. <laughs> Jed's got a lovely mini full English, I guess that is. But he's definitely filled that plate. Although it's small, he's absolutely filled it. And you've ordered an omelette, haven't you? The omelette, unbelievable. By the way, you look at the weather for skiing today. You're so lucky. Oh, well, that's quite so nice. Be yeah. Didn't notice it, well, that yes, helped. Jed. Um, oh, what do you mean you didn't notice it? Look, it's it so sunny. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh my god, yeah. No, guys, <laughs> it's literally snow dogs. Like, oh my they god, were little stop. Spaniels. It was the cutest thing in the entire world. Right, we're just about to play chess. Honestly, we spent last night sat playing chess for so long and connect four, which is actually an elite game. So happy they have these because it's really been keeping us company. Although my chess skills have gone downhill. They used to be really good when I watched Queen's Gambit, but now it's not so good. Who won, people? Who won? Obviously me, man. Jed won one game. I won one game. <laughs> By the way, she didn't win one against me. Are you okay, Imogen? No. Oh my goodness, the snack collection in this shop is unbelievable. These, I think, are one of the best biscuits. Have you had them? I don't think I ever have, you know. You haven't? No, oh haven't. my God, they're honestly to die for. I mean, I feel like I just love anything Nutella, to be honest, but even these Happy Hippos, I love Happy Hippos. Yeah, they were, they were the one. Yeah, I've never had the strawberry ones, though. I've never even seen the strawberry ones before, to be fair. Ones. Oh, really? Oh my God, look at the M&M biscuits. <laughs> this is what I mean, these stacks are actually ridiculous. They look so good. Good evening, oh my God, my nose looks so red. It is so cold. My hair, I don't know what's going on with my hair. Oh my God, I actually look like a state. Look at the state of me. But anyways, I'm walking without my crutches, which is 
just such a good feeling although my leg is feeling a little bit sore today right we're going out for dinner this place looks so cute all the tables have little fires in the middle oh my god it's actually adorable oh my god guys this place looks so cute wow this is literally like a 10 second walk from our hotel as well oh my god how have i just noticed the chairs are literal ski lifts like how cute is that that's actually the cutest thing and also i'm so excited to put the fire on in our table i think this place is takeout pizza is it pizza everything oh nice because they have like a takeout pizza section over there but obviously i guess that's just the takeaway but oh my god this looks such a vibe i'm so excited well you can tell how cold i am by my nose um i'm literally like so snug my hair looks so crazy right now but i actually can't believe i managed to walk here about my crutches I mean, it is literally 10 seconds down the road but still it's so weird like my leg feels fine but then all of a sudden it feels like it's gonna pop out of place i'm really really hoping i don't need well i do need an mri when i get home but i'm really really hoping that it's not my acl and i don't have to have surgery but apparently that is kind of what happens with an acl like you actually can get on with life but then all of a sudden like it will just pop out of place um but yeah fingers crossed it's not that oh that seems a bit low jen um anyways yeah excited to be out it's so cutesy here um it's too it's just made me happy getting outside of the house we've gone to like three different tables and none of them the fire is working and just absolutely freezing we're hoping maybe like fourth time lucky we can get a fire guys we've got the fire working woohoo jake can stop complaining about being cold which would be lovely oh this is so cute oh my god i'm actually obsessed oh my god the lighting is so bad right now but this steak looks insane so imogen and i are sharing steak got some chips and salad and then jed got a burger and he's saying it's incredible so i mean this looks absolutely ridiculous if you're a steak lover like me get in my belly okay we just watched love island again oh my god i actually can't believe that i'm watching like i really didn't think that i was going to watch love island again i kind of thought like i'm over it now but i think just because we've been chilling in the evenings and we're not drinking none of us are drinking are you doing dry jan um i'm not doing i'm not not doing dry jam but i'm also like not actively drinking if that makes yeah. sense but like you know in a situation that sometimes calls for it and you're like out with a few people and you're like oh like you know what like that's have a drink yeah but like i'm not like seeking for it See, i feel like i feel like i would love a drink on this trip yeah not I gonna lie think, especially after everything that's think, happened yeah. but i know if i have one every time i go in a situation when there's drink i'll start drinking yeah because i have in my head i know i can't do 75 hard anymore but because i have in my head i'm doing so like i'm not drinking for 75 days do you know what i mean i'm not yeah. gonna drink at any okay any occasion whereas like if we drink here i know that any situation i'm handed a drink i will be drinking yeah so well, we really want to go to coco rico's like it's so fun if you go to teens or they have one in valdez as well you literally have to go by the way i hate this foundation on me i said this to you before didn't i this foundation that my own foundation you're wearing? Mario. it's the mario and i love it on everyone I told else you, you should have tried the maybelline skin tints one i know unreal. i wish i did try it tomorrow because mm. it literally lasts all day does it yeah yeah and obviously if you're on but the then i do love then. that mac one that i have and it's a skin tint as well so good but it doesn't have hydronic acid like yours has well this yeah this one's like vitamin c um, yeah, it's, it's probably just like way better than my skin. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Or if I'm ending the vlog here, I don't really know. But goodbye. I feel like this vlog is all over the place, and I'm so sorry. Bye. Mm -hmm.